clap. It's review time. Problem number seven. If then or conditional problem. If 9 plus 5 equals 6, 9 plus 7 equals 11, 6 plus 8 equals 18, 3 plus 9 equals 24, then what is 7 plus 9? So again, be careful. It is a if-then statement, which means conditional. It, it is only true in this problem because we know 9 plus 5 is not 6. Rather, it is 14. But in this case, if-then, it's only true in this problem. So let us put the solution in this way. Okay, so we're going to find the pattern as we try to assess, examine each line. Okay, if we're going to assess 9 plus 5 equals 16, what would be the process or pattern to be applied here? So let us try to use this 3 times 5 minus 9. So meaning to say, we're going to multiply the second digit by 3 and subtract it to the first term which is the 9 so 3 times 5 which is 15 minus 9 is 6 will satisfy the first row let us go to the second row do the same process so we're going to multiply 7 by 3 and subtract it to the first so we have now 3 times 7 minus 9 and we know 21 minus 9 is 11 that still satisfy the second row let us go with the third so 8 times 3 minus 6, okay? And 3 times 8 minus 6 is 24 minus 6 equals 18. Still satisfied. Then the last is uh, we're going to multiply 9 by 3 and subtract it to 3. So 3 times 9 minus 3. And we know the product is 27 equals 24. So this time we can solve the 7 plus 9 by multiplying 9 by 3 and subtract it to 7. And our final answer is 27 minus 7 equals 20. So in short, in this kind of conditional problem, if then, uh, the best way to solve it is try to find a pattern that will satisfy in all the rows in a given equation. I hope you learned something from this video. Good day and God bless everyone.